Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to do a video on uh, interpolation. You can simply see it in the screen. I have uh, two data. I have one of the my polygon file and another is temperature data. And I am going to uh, do a interpolation here. What the interpolation is? It is the general type of stream estimating the things or the met method of estimating the things using the this is the discrete data set discrete known data set you can simply say it. and for that um, i am going to use simply you can see it here uh, i am going to open a arc toolbox and i am going to do a interpolation using two different methods one is a Mm. IDW method and another is uh, interpolation method you can simply see and for the interpolation method you can simply see go to by uh, spatial analyst tool and then go to interpolation and then go to IDW and simply go to here and it is not licensed so for that we have to go to first of all extension you can simply see it sometime it happens so before doing any uh, special analyst tool we have to check this extension so that it will run without any error now you can see it here we will be able to doing it now for that we are going to use you can simply pin it there and use temperature shape point file as input point feature and you can see it after that you can take a z value is which data you want to enter uh, pull it and now here i am going to do it with 250 simply and now my point is 21 number of point 21 so, i am going to do it with same as layer chiton so that it can cover it so simply with this i am going with it without changing anything you can see it here You can simply see it here. It's a no big deal here. It takes little bit time. Now you can see it here. And here I am going to make it neat hollow so that we can observe whole part and increasing it. Uh, boundary line length or the thickness now it is more clear uh, you can see it this is the IDW output you, you can see the output pattern here you can go to property and go to symbology you can classify according to the color ramp here and I am classifying it into five different classes according to the temperature the area you can simply use it and go with this apply this and you can change the color ramp to simply here go down 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 and you can simply invert it so that the red part goes to the higher temperature region and the blue to the this one temperature zone and you can see it this is our IDW output now I am going to dealing it with another triggering method you can simply see it here it is another method which is more familiar to work or interpolate so I am simply using 
the same way is we have done here and we can simply assign 245 and we have to put 21 simply and you can go with this it is Krieg dot TIF and you can simply run it ok now you can see it this is Krieg method output you can see it here you can little bit extend now we can see it here now we have temperature ranges from 26 to 30.96 degrees celsius it is in centigrade you can simply say it uh, and we can classify it according to our ways and i am going to using the stretch pattern as you can see we have done in the next part to beginning of the idw2 and using it simply here and applying it you can see the change in the this is IDW output you can simply change you can see it here and this is a Krieg output and this is IDW output you can simply see it here the changes in the uh, two method so generally Krieg method is used uh, in more way uh, so here i am going to clip my layer here this uh, my area of interest here so for that i am going to use extract by max you can simply use the clip or raster i am going to use a clip or raster Put your raster from with area of interest one to extract. So I'm using Krieg output. with the most suitable part uh, instead of here we are moving to the symbology where we can get enough to choose our area and you can simply see it and invert it as I have explained it in the few minutes ago to in this video so this is our output and now we can untick the temperature too and I am using only this output now we are moving to the layout format here so for that we are going to add a base map uh, here simply and here uh, it takes little bit time you can see it here oh, and I am adding uh, open street map over here and it takes a little bit time and it is a big data you can simply see it here no need to worry it takes a little bit time now you can see it here and here you can see it this is our output now you can use which part you are going to use in the map layout format so i am going to using
this part so I am going to using it in the layout format moving it to the layout format and you can simply change it uh, mode and I am changing it to A4 landscape mode A4 size paper in the landscape mode so here yeah. you can simply extend it with this we are in the finishing mode of the video you can simply see there I am just giving a finishing touches to the map here. you can simply see so after this you can increase its figure size to just uh, by dealing with it you can simply see it here it takes a little bit time to load now I think it is quite better than before so I am inserting the different uh, dynamic text over it so it will define our coordinate system you can simply go with this way and you can change the color no color font sorry for that so we are going to do it what this simply and apply it and you can drag it to the suitable place and you can insert a north here and simply go to move to place it uh, where it is easy to deal with and now here yeah, insert that scale bar here simply uh, scale bar and click ok and you can change the division unit of it to here yeah. so for that I am going to make it to kilometer is using the large area we cannot deal with the meter we have to take it little bit large scale uh, so I am going to add another legend over here you can simply see it I am using these two legend item and clicking next 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 over here and I am simply dragging and keeping it here without any here you can see the listen over here and now at last I am going to add a title giving a uh, distribution maps of Introduction map now using triggering interpolation. You can simply use this title. You can increase its size to little bit larger one so that it is visible. Now you can export it to JPG format simply. Now with this, I am going to end my video here. Thank you. Keep watching.